Hey dudes, as always, very busy weekend, so it's very hard for me to crank out reactions. So I'll try my best to do what I can here, edit what I can, and try to get some more content to you because, you know, I got bombarded this week. I was able to fulfill a lot of reactions and stuff, got my taxes done, filing yesterday. Of course, when Thursday hits, it's like the new Friday, so we're going to start with Motionless and White first because that was going to be the first on the list and see if this is actually a masterpiece. I don't really know if it's going to be because I've seen some mixed reviews. I haven't watched all the stuff though. I've just watched like the review. Obviously I'm not reactions because that will spoil it for me. All the stupid lies and the stupid games left to vacancy in this picture frame. A prisoner by my own if I can't have me, then no one can I need to heal what I inflict But I'll burn that bridge when I get to it As I play roulette with a broken Solid plumbing and chuck Breaking Benjamin all the way. Very much like Phobia album. Can't put my finger on which song exactly, but all I know is Breaking Benjamin vibes all the way. And it's not terrible, but definitely seems a little unspot inspiring. Um, hey, it's number 12 on trending for a reason though, because it's able to reach a um, whole different audience. Man, Metal Trenches was not joking. This is nearly identical. If this was played on Sirius XM radio, I wouldn't bat an eye and think that it was Breaking Benjamin. Breaking Benjamin riffing too. Illustrate all my pain and set it all Scoring the end of the world out June 10th. I've pretty much talked throughout this entire video. Uh, Breaking Benjamin vibes throughout, like I said, I don't need to beat a dead horse about it. Is it really intriguing enough for me? No. Is it a bad song? No. Is it a interesting music video? Yes. Max Moore, director of this one. He does a lot of other music videos, uh, particularly for like Code Orange and other heavy bands of that nature. So I personally don't enjoy this as much i think as cyberhex but i also did not particularly care for cyberhex all that much yeah i had like the heaviness to it but it was just very repetitive didn't care for the chorus i like that this song definitely showed like the side of chris's clean vocals can be really good now is it a little bit over dramatic and drawn out 
for sure, but it's not like it's terribly overdrawn out. I've heard songs such as Another Life and I think at least another song off the last album that didn't do shit for me. Can't stand those type of balladry type of songs. This, not really so much a ballad as Mel Trenches was saying, so I think he was a little bit overanalyzing that for whatever reason, that's fine. But me, I gotta give this one like a solid seven out of 10, I think. It's nothing overly special. It's definitely got the motionless and white trademark sound, but nothing to really run home about. The riffs uh, sounds like it could be in drop A sharp, drop B, somewhere around that range. Uh, vocally though, yeah, nothing that really stood out to me. And the breakdown, yeah, it was a little bit out of place, but you know, it is what it is. It's not like it was the worst breakdown in the world. It was just kind of there, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, I'm gonna give this one a seven out of 10. Like I said, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys thought. Also the lyrics were kind of just there, not terrible, but nothing to run home about. So anyways, see you next time.